Fresh is about, am I fresh <coughs> and relevant? Am I fresh? Is my brand fresh and relevant? How many of you still have a MySpace account? Please don't raise your hand. <laughs> the first P in passion is about preparation. What am I doing today to get prepared? The A in passion is, we're going to speed up here. The A in passion is about aspiration. What's my aspiration? I want you to do this when you get home tonight. Take a sheet of paper and say, if you could have the perfect day in your life, who would be there? What would you have? Would you be skinnier? Would you be plumpier? Would you have different eyes? What would the perfect day look like for you? If you could draw the perfect day, what does it look like? What does it smell like? Who's there? And then you're going to look at that every day and say, what am I doing today to get to my aspirational perfect day? So the S is around staying laser focused. We're, we're in passion now. It's spelled P-A-S-S-I-O-N. We're on staying laser focused. How many of us stop at, if we stump our toe, we say, oh, that wasn't for me. I'm going to go back. The greatest temptation to quit happens right before you were about to be successful. If you look at the failures in your life, if you would have stayed in the race just a second longer, the outcome would have been much different. No matter the distractions and no matter what comes around you, you have to stay laser focused. The S is around selling like you've lost your mind. You've got to be able to sell, why would anyone hire me? And you're doing the things you have now so you can get proof points on your resume so that you can be able to sell to the, end, to the buyer, this is why you should hire me. Any questions? The I and passion is around invigorate yourself. Misery has enough company. They don't need you on the bus. Most of us cannot be happy until we call Le Nene. How do you get yourself excited? You have to own your own excitement. You have to stay invigorated and excited about the journey that you're on. Nobody wants to involve you. Nobody wants to hire somebody who's miserable all the time and not happy about life. And here, here's the thing. You don't let anybody blow out your fire except yourself. You don't give that to anybody else. You were born to blow out your own fire. You were born to start your own fire, and only you can blow it out. So the O in passion, we're going to move really, really quickly now. The O is about omitting the negative. Omitting the negative. No matter what comes your way, no matter what the distraction, you've got to stand firm to say, that's not going to distract me. Because mentally, I know that I deserve to have the best, to eat the best, to drive the best. So this negative stuff, I'm not going to let it take residence in my head. Because when you let that poison stuff in your head, it is cancerous. And the only way to get rid of it is you have to cut it out at the root. When they say they don't like somebody, you, you, just, you basically say, you know, well, all of us are different in life. And uh, they have a different opinion than I, but I respect that. You don't get down in the gutter. With, with, you're flying with the eagles. You don't have that buzzard conversation. You're much better than that when you understand the value of who you are. That's about omitting the negative. You have to understand the value of the brand and be able to get the proof points while you're here. When you're going to the interview, you've already researched the company. You know that you're right for the job. You're not sitting in the interview saying, I'm trying to sell myself to be right for the job. You're trying to give them so much value that they say, I can't let him or her leave out of this room, so I better come with my best offer first. And when they say, how much should we, how much we should, should give you, how much should we give you, you just say with a smile and say, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm absolutely excited that you would think about giving me an offer. And uh, if you would make me a fair and competitive offer, I'd be delighted to discuss it with my family and get back with you within 24 hours. I've already nailed it. I mean, they, I know they want me because I've researched the company. I know their pain. I know their needs, their wants, their desires. I know how I can competitively to give it to them. So this is about trying to get $20,000 more than what they thought about offering because you've got to get a high base salary going in. Otherwise, you would graduate yourself into poverty. Let's nail the brand. We talked about preparation, aspiration, selling like you're crazy, staying laser focused, invigorating yourself, omitting the negative. And we're going to get prepared by not missing anything. Mentally, I'm there. I have the right image. I have the right skills. I have the right substance. And I need to nail the brand to bring it all together. When people see it, they need to see the whole package. I need three people here who really, really like chocolate to come to the front while I'm talking. Three people who really, really like chocolate can come to the front while I'm talking. But how do we pack one, two, three? Fantastic. So how do we, what do I look like as a package? Thank you. Stand right here, please. What, what do I look like as a package? When I bring it all together, when people see me on Facebook, when they see me on, on Twitter, when they see me in class, when, they, when, 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 when Dr. McNeil see my, my work, will he say, that looks like your work? What, what's the whole experience like when people really, really look at it? Go ahead and open your right hand, please. Drop it and I will be on the couch for the next six months. That's your left hand. That's, oh, 
Okay, yeah. You're, right. You're gonna. <laughs> go ahead and open your eyes, please, and go ahead and, and uh, what you have. What do you think about this? What, what do you think? Dark chocolate. Or... Regular chocolate. Go ahead and eat it, please. It won't do anything that will not put you in the hospital for 6.7 days, but you'll get out and, and buy some more chicken. <laughs> How much would you pay for this? They just say, show them what you're eating there. She, she's like, look, look, I don't have no food in the dorm. I just want to savor this moment here. Yeah? <laughs> well, I got chocolate, like melted chocolate. How much would you pay for it? What is, what is, does, it, is it does it have a package on it or? Mm -mm. No? What, how much would you pay for it? What do you think? Yo, 60 cents. 60 cents? Mm -hmm. I'll take it back. You can, t you can finish eating because I know it's good to you. <laughs> yeah. t toes curling up here. <laughs> like, this good stuff. It's amazing. Ooh. I'm taking this class again, Dr. McNeil. This is good stuff. Please fail me so I can come back. <laughs> what do you think? Um, a dollar. A dollar. So are you duplicating what she said, or you have your own opinion? I have my own opinion. I had a dollar in my head when uh -huh. she said it, but I would pay a dollar. So that was before you blew it out with the balloon, or this is the new new? This is the new me. Fantastic. Close your eyes, please. Go ahead and open your right hand, please, and just hold this. He's like, I got it this time. I'm, t I'm, I'm testing. Go ahead and open your hand. Eyes. What do you think? Go ahead. Eyes. Open. What do you think? That's what I thought. You, you, you like that? Go ahead and open it up. So he, here's what happens. They open it up. Oh. <laughs> Oh, he's trying to be hard. Like, I ain't letting you know how much I like it, but oh. Okay, so here's what happened. They had a piece of chocolate here. Pretty generic, right? Nothing special about it. It's just kind of, well, I'll give a dollar. Oh, it's okay, I'm hungry. But then you put it in the package. All a lady wants in her life is a little blue box. She don't, doesn't care what's inside of it. She wants a little blue box from Tiffany's once in her life. Everybody, uh, people who like chocolate want good, want good diver because it's beautiful. It has, it, it takes you to another level. I mean, they're still looking at it. <laughs> <laughs> so here's, here's the last lesson. Here's the last lesson. You want to, you want to, you want to train people how to treat your brand. So I did a very good job for you. So you're going to give me a thunderous applause because you want to train people how to treat you. Yeah.